DJI drones are banned, or are they not? The situation right now is somewhat unclear, and that's not even the biggest problem. Today we want to take a look at what's happening right now in the USA with DJI and what are the potential solutions to this. Currently the governmental institutions in USA have already been prohibited from purchasing DJI drones. Even for consumers it's getting more and more difficult to purchase DJI drones. On the official DJI store as well as for many retailers it's simply impossible to buy these drones in USA. Even warranty cases can be difficult or very time consuming to solve. The FCC recently announced that if no federal agency performs an on DJI by December 23rd, 2025, this might lead to DJI being placed in the FCC's covered list, which then might uh, prohibit DJI import and sale of new devices. Moreover, this could open up the doors for a retroactive ban on DJI devices. And so, is this something that could actually take place or is this simply a bargaining chip for the USA government to use in trade negotiations with China? Whatever happens, the real question isn't which drone will you fly next year. It's whether your entire workflow can survive when the hardware changes. If tomorrow your favorite drone becomes unavailable, will your business still be able to survive and thrive? At the end of the day, politics should not impact your job as a drone pilot, even though very often it can. In case you are in the market for a new drone model, there are some quite interesting alternatives to DJI drones that you can consider. For example, the Inspired Flight IF-800, on which, by the way, we recently did a video. Link down in the description below. Also, there's the Inspired Flight 1200A, which is based on the autopilot. There's the Ace Core, Zoe and Noah, which is from a Netherlands-based company. And there's also uh, drones such as the FreeFly, Alt-X, uh, FreeFly Astro, and many, many others. Typically, these drones are based on the popular Artpilot and PX4 firmwares, which have now become quite popular and also very reliable thanks to the continued community support. While it is true that many of these drones can lag behind DJI, there's one thing that comes to my mind uh, that I actually heard from a drone pilot. So when you go out into the field to collect the data, you want like a drone that is basically as reliable as an old German VHS tape player. You just want to be able to take the remote controller, go to the field with the drone and collect good data without the drone prompting you to update it and configure it every single time. You just need a device that works. Whichever drone you choose, you have to be sure that the software is also up for the task. And that's why also you need software that can handle different drone platforms. And this is exactly why we have developed EGCS. So GCS allows you to use drones from different manufacturers with the same software. This means you can use drones from DJI, Artopilot, PX4, Autel and many others with the same flight planning software. This means that you are very flexible and you can easily adjust which flight plan has to be used with which drone and they are all cross compatible. Moreover, it's very versatile, meaning you can use it for various different applications such as photogrammetry, LiDAR, magnetic surveys, vertical scans and many, many others. Also, it has industry-leading terrain-following algorithms and allows you to keep track of all of your flights and upload the telemetry to different drone fleet management software. At the end of the day, the situation is still unpredictable and can change day by day. So, we have to be prepared for any potential outcome. And why not get prepared today by trying UGCS Open? It's completely for free and you can get it now from our site, link down in the description below. And as always, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.